Okay. Okay. Coach Tilson hooked me up with some gear. I figured I'd wear it for the day. It goes good with your uh, jacket. Not really. No. No. What yeah. color is this, first of all? Puke green. <laughs> Olive green? I, I've still not figured that out. In your opinion. I don't know. Vomit. Did green. we not get you some gear before? You did. Did you throw Where's it away? That? No, this was on the top of the clean pile, so I figured top. I'd wear it. Oh, so you wear it to bed or what? Top yeah. Of the, okay. Top of the clean pile. I know what it was. We probably got him like a real size. Like me, he, he probably wears smalls. I will say the one like north green shirt you got me that I think it's big. just the husky yeah, head. It's, it's yeah, it's like a large. It's a large. Oh, it's a large. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, here's you one. You know the song? You know what you think? I'm not even a big fan of this guy, but it's cool that he's back. Next person now. Maybe. Oh. oh. I thought you were asking the song. I heard it. Is that a wrestler? See him punk. I actually heard a kid talking about see him punk the other day. He's back. First time in 10 years. All right. We're going to give Sam a little trivia here to start off the day. Wrestling today. trivia? Yeah. Awesome. We're going to see. Okay. First of all, I'll be really disappointed if Tyler don't have all these memorized. So we've got some WWE entrance songs. Sam has to name the wrestler. Ooh. Are you going to give him hard ones or are you going to give him like some that he should be? I feel like that one's perfect right before tip off. You need to have French play this before tip off. If I had a water Good bottle right now, I'd spit water. Triple H. Triple H. All right, if you don't get this one, it's no hope. The Rock. <laughs> He's got the Rock. Ooh, what about this one? That sends fear down your opponent's spine. All right. Him. He is a UFC heavyweight champion. Rock Lesnar. He's doing pretty good so far. That one's got too long of an answer. It's, it was Hulk Hogan's old one. Hey, you gotta have, you gotta know this one. Man, Undertaker. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> I just watched the old wrestling a little bit. All right, now this one is old. You know it, Tyler? You know it? Oh yeah! Hold on. Big elbow drop. Or the full glasses. I don't know who is that. Macho Randy Man Savage. Randy Savage. What is this? Mr. Malone, come to the office. He can't. He's judging the dog show. <laughs> there is a dog show in here today. We're having a dog show here. What am I? Three or five? That ain't bad. What's kind of like James? I don't know. Finishing move was the stunner. Stone Cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this guy, he's been around forever, but he's just recently made a comeback after a bad injury. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They Randy Orton, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, good. All right, here is your current. Oh wait, let's get this one. You gotta know this guy. John Cena. John yeah. Cena. That was the quickest one. Was. That was the quickest Our boys ran out of that last year a couple of times. I think. <laughs> You'll not get this one. But this guy, he's like my role model. Former U.S. military. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's hurt ankle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, he does this right here. He goes. Oh, 
Yeah. Like, who is that? It's Bobby Lashley. That's who I thought. Bobby Lashley. The Almighty. Here's your new guy. You'll not get this. I don't, I don't know. He's any new. new he's took the world by storm. He talked about the fastest rising. He's the megastar. What is it? I don't know. Is it that way or is it the other way? I don't know which I don't way know. it is. Really? That's LA really not. not. I've never heard of that. Here, here you go. It's going back in the vault. What Booker T come out to? I like Booker T. I don't know what Booker T is. What about Big Papa Punks? <laughs> I used to like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was a large dude. You remember these guys? This is a whole group of guys. No. Bow to the masters. Break it down. We better not do that. No, I was about to say, I don't know if we can do the chop. Is that what Grayson's always doing? Yeah. D-Generation X. Oh, now here's, the, Sam's not been through the history, so he won't be able to appreciate this guy right here. He won't be able to. What amazes me is when he comes out, everybody, the thousands in attendance, everybody knows this song word for word and they sing it to the top of their lungs. This song like every little video game that's ever been made. Oh yeah. Is it? What is it? We gotta wait and get to the best part of the song. Who is it though? Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Alright, you gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Alright, we'll do it. I'll do it. Just do one. Go. I hit him, man. <laughs> I hit him. Alright, I'm free. I'm pretty proud of my wrestling knowledge. Well, here's your current, here, the last one. This is your current champion. It, or is no, our guy not Roman the, Reigns? Our guy's not the champion. Yeah, he's on one. He's on SmackDown. I don't know nobody else though. You, if this, he's the champ. Then they all start singing his song, and there's no words to it. You gonna sing it? I will. We'll sing it. Oh, 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 oh. I've heard this. I should know. Who is it? Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. All right. I've heard of him. That's enough. That's enough of our ignorance. Out of all, I want those. you to name the, all the dog classes. Like the when they're having a dog show out here, there's some classes she named. What are they? Like, what do you mean? It's classes? like the working class, the toy class, the. Uh, You're way out of my league. There's something else. I Is the working class like farm dogs? That'd be like hunting dogs. Coon dogs. Coon dogs. Coon dogs. <laughs> we need Bobby. Bob, Bobby's <laughs> on some coon dog shows. <laughs> AKC registered. If you all hey. ever branch out and do outside sports, like outdoorsman stuff, and do like the T and B show, you need uh, like uh, what would the name of Bobby's show be? <laughs> AKC Coon Dogs. So, this man Bobby? is a legend. He's like this. Like he's got these pictures always. I don't know. It's like oh, English yeah. showing like English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the tail. I don't know what that does. I don't he's know he's the got his head under his neck. Me and my uncle used to go hunting. Probably. Three to four nights a week, coon hunting. Uh, this I'm, guy's a legend at coon hunting. He is. He has this dog that just died. It was name was his name was Rex, and it was like had produced the most Grand Night champions. But yeah, it's pretty much like winning the NBA championship. He said there's some kind of thing you look up on your phone, yeah. and they actually rank. And he said his dog was like ranked number one yeah. in the whole country. Yeah. For years, Pro producing Grand Night Champions, yeah. So they take that stuff serious, don't they? Oh, like yeah. life and like we take basketball. Yeah, wow. <laughs> life and death. Wow, I didn't know that. I don't know. I, I next show I'll bring some pictures of me coon hunting, uh, and I'll show. I'll Sam, show. you don't strike me as a coon hunter. Well, I used to. Hey, used to be a big coon hunter. There's a guy in my church. He passed away. It's the funniest thing. We was having a meeting one night. This is a deacon's meeting, <laughs> and. uh we used to talk about stuff the church used to do. Well, we used to do this. We used to do that. And he was just a real quiet guy. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he spoke up one night. He said, yeah, they used to be Indians. <laughs> That's pretty good. It was funny. All right. Can't we hurt. do not have much basketball to talk about. Well, we just played one game since you That's were here true. last. We realized Thursday. We, we did have a lot of drama. We, we don't ever Did have. you? Yeah. 
You I weren't here, was it? No. Well, let me just tell you. Go for it. All right, I got nine players. Minus one who's oh, ineligible. Oh, Yeah. So we're down to eight. One of them had the flu. Lisa, all the way from Germany, who's staying with Robert Starnes. By the way, it's about time, man. <laughs> it is. Oh, we didn't even do the intro. Do the intro. Oh, yeah. This Shout TV. out to Robert Starnes. Go ahead. Robert Starnes, brought to you by Robert Starnes Barbershop. And who else? we got to plug somebody else. Bailton Drug. Bailton Drugs. <laughs> so, anyway, Robert's keeping Lisa. What's that? I think that's how you say her name. Hmm. I probably missed it again, but it's not Kersey, which it looks like. She's sick. So I'm down to seven. Okay. All right. Shortly before we run onto the floor, I mean, it's like the fourth quarter of the JV boys game, I'm informed that I'm down to six. We had a girl, Heidi Harmon, she got hit in the face like three times against Cherokee last week. And it was still bothering her. So she went in and talked to the trainer about it. She said, you could have a fracture. She actually went to get her ankle tape, and the trainer just making conversation said, how's your face from the other night? And she started telling her it was still hurting. You know, and she said, well, the information you're giving me is leading me leading me to believe that you may have a fracture. So I, I can't let you play until you get an X-ray. So, I mean, this ain't like the day before or two days before or I – mean, we're, we're about to go yeah, in and address to... the team and get ready to come out on the floor and warm up and we find out one of our starters is out. So we started the game with six. And uh, we had several players with four fouls. Started off really well. We were hey, up like you ever 20 needed, to two. needed somebody to navigate that, there would be no <laughs> better man. Than the man they had up there navigating. Well, we, I look out there. I mean, this ain't I ain't knocking her ain't at all. But like, Veronica hadn't really played much before. No. But she's out there, and he's got her, holding her on, not messing anything up. She even shot a three over in the corner one shot time. Shot a three. We got the rebound. The, uh, coach is winning by fifteen. He's he's a dang miracle worker. We did end up winning by fifteen. They we were up twenty to two. Got the off first. Got off to a great start. And they switched defenses, which caused us a little bit of trouble. We turned it over more than we should have, more than we'd like to. And they cut it by the fourth quarter. About midway through the fourth quarter, we had some key player, four fouls. Lauren Blevins had four fouls over there on the bench. and She had done a really good job on their best player. And then that girl started going off. Out of their 40 points, she had 27 of them. But on that night, Hannah Miller had 26. Haley Bailey had 20. Uh, I think they said Haley also had eight rebounds and eight assists. So she might hit a triple-double. And then Hannah had like 15 rebounds or something like that. So Hannah's averaging 15 and 13, and Haley's averaging 21 and 10. And what's good about that is we're starting to get some scoring from some other places now, Mercy and Ella. Start to score a little bit for us. Heidi had a really good game against Cherokee. And, you know, she didn't even get a chance to back it up. I remember that. She was causing some terror out there. Oh, yeah. To me, she was everywhere, yeah. She's, um, she's become a stuck out to me there. really good defensive player for us on the ball. So, uh, and, and Lauren has too. And, and we missed Lisa Friday night. And she's still not 100%, still sick. So, we got this game tonight. She's better. She's finally back to school. So we'll go over there. We don't know how. We don't know. We'll just so go going play. tonight, do you know how many numbers you have now? We're supposed to have eight tonight. Supposed to? Okay. We got a face shield for Heidi. Awesome. She's going to be clear? wearing the mask. I think it is clear. We're having to borrow it for the South Green. Black one's like Hachimura. We need Hachimura's black one. He, we'd scare people. Yeah. You know, I had a girl play for me a long time ago named Haley Vaughn. She actually played on the state runner-up team. And she had to wear one of them. She was so embarrassed to wear it. But we told her to wear it. And then our assistant at the time was Roger Dykes, one of the best men walking God's earth. And Roger came up with a perfect plan. He said, when you go out there for the starting lineup, you got that mask on, just start kind of have a little spittle <laughs> come down your face. and Just like let out a scream every once in a while. The other team will think you're a maniac. <laughs> Maybe scare somebody to death. Foam at the mouth some. We, didn't, we couldn't get her to do it. Yeah, but, but it would be a good psychological tactic. Yeah, we may try it with Heidi tonight. 
See if she'll just go out there and like bark a few times. <laughs> Say, we have to keep this mask on her because <laughs> sometimes she gets a little out of sorts. We freak somebody out. Could be a new strategy going forward. But that's us. Then we back it up tonight. You know, after Cherokee, we got Chucky Doke on Friday over there. That'll be a big one on the road to kind of close out first semester for us because we don't play again until after Christmas. Sam yeah. has the tournament before Christmas. So uh, I guess that's really all the basketball we got to talk I talked about Cosby. He's got to talk about Cosby. I don't know how much of a preview you want to do on this week. We'll wait and do it on the second half like usual. We'll just okay, go ahead and talk about Sam's real quick. Okay. And then we'll i got to find my turn. Because I don't have much to turn my schedule. I've got to find it. Uh, our Cosby game, man, I thought we played really well. Cosby was a good team. Yeah. Uh, I think they were coming in 6-2 and two or 5-3, and three, something like that. They've been playing well. Uh, if you take out the first four minutes of the first quarter and the last four minutes of the third quarter, we played really, really well. Uh, we got to a slow start, which is kind of our M.O., I have to burn a timeout in the first two minutes of every game. I don't know why. Sometimes it's the first, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. Sometimes well, I, it's that way. It's, it's funny because, like, everything on my scout usually happens that we were supposed to not be doing usually happens in the first 30 seconds of the game. And it seems like i got to stop it and remind them. Anyway, we turned the ball over several times, uh, gave up two, transitions lay, two transition layups and a, a backdoor layup, 6-0, uh, four minutes ago in the first. And... The rest of the half, I thought we played uh, really, really well. Um, man, Lance had a great first half. That was the best game he's Lance. played. Yes, best game he's played while he's been at North Green, I think. Um, he scored our first six points. Was able, to, I think he hit two or three threes in the first half. Uh, took a charge. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the whole bench red. We've been trying to even take him charges, man. That would change our whole team. If he could just decide he's going to do that. I told him in the locker room, I don't see why he wouldn't. Uh, he scored, what, like 14 or 15 in the first half, and he took a charge. Maybe that's what he's been missing. Maybe he needs to take a charge early in each game. But, no, he played really, really well. Um, I thought we shared the ball well. Uh, really, everybody that got in. Been trying to play a few more guys. Everybody that got in gave us good minutes. I think we got up as many as 17 in the third quarter. And it was like. Coach, there's like some weird stop. I don't know, like maybe some sweat got on the floor. There was some, I don't know, some weird stoppages there in the third quarter. And we went from up 17. I think we just kind of relaxed. Uh, turned the ball over like four straight times. Went Is that from, when they cut it to six? I think they cut to four. Oh, wow. And then you won by like 30? Oh, that was, uh, that was Cherokee. That was Cherokee. But, no, they we, we turned it over several times. They cut it to four. And then we pushed it back up above 10 at the start of the fourth. Uh I'm going to tell you how much I know about basketball. I told, I told Coach, just at the end of the game, I was like, it didn't feel like Jason had like a, a Jason game. I mean, pretty much how he plays every game. But but I think it was because he didn't shoot it well in the first half. Uh, but I look at the stats the next day, he had 33 points and 17 rebounds. So wow. I'd hate to play bad. Yeah. So sorry, Jason. I, I told him, I apologized to him there the next day. I said, you know, I thought you didn't play very well last night. And usually for him, it ain't like, I mean, he plays hard all the time. It ain't like he does bad. He just, uh, he missed a few shots there in the first half. I guess you're allowed to miss shots every once in a while. Uh, anyway, I hope so. Yeah. Everybody else better hope so. <laughs> so, uh, no, he played really, really well. 17 rebounds. Man, that's, we, we, I've been on him about rebounding, and he kind of led the way with that. Lance had seven rebounds. Um, really, as far as scoring goes, we didn't have – Many other people score, but I look. Bennett had seven assists, so that was good. He could uh, affect the game way other than scoring. I thought as a whole, as a team, that was our best defensive game. We held a team, a good team, under fifty points, uh, which hadn't happened this year. So I was, I was very, very pleased with that. So hopefully, uh, that continues here. We got a little busier week than coach. We got, uh, I guess we got. Cherokee, then Chucky Doke, and then we got three games there before Christmas. So if we can keep kind of taking baby steps, keep getting better, hopefully we can finish out our Christmas or right there before Christmas break the way we want to start. So uh, I'm excited about the next week or so here. Speaking of Jason, we had a chance to honor him before yeah, 2000. 2,000 points. Yeah, 2,000 points. game the other night. Mm-hmm. 2,000. All time leading scorer in Green County history. We'll have to start keeping track. I was doing um, the. I'll, I'll go after ahead. And, Christmas. Oh, I'll go ahead and plug this in. Uh, 
I guess so people know. Uh, I was doing a little research as far as Northeast Tennessee boys. Yeah. Uh, they're scoring. Um, there are two guys, one that played in the late 70s at Tennessee High, Derek Cord. I think he played at Kentucky. Um, and then there's a guy that played at Langston. I don't even know where that is. Where's Langston? Well, nowadays these schools. I don't think it's a school anymore. Yeah, they it? consolidate and they're not even what they used to be called. So a lot of times you read them old records and you're like, where's that at? Mm-hmm. They don't even exist anymore. But maybe. Langston, I think it's 2,935 are the two people tied for the boys' record. Um, it's a tie? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. A dead tie. A dead tie. Now, I um, wonder what I, they consider Northeast Tennessee. Is that Knoxville? I think Knoxville, from, from Knoxville down here. And then, now the people that people would know, or the guys that people would know, is uh, I think Patrick Good had 27 16. Uh, yes, you're right. And then it was Caleb Meredith, 2,600 and something. 2,687. Okay, and then uh, the Jamar Livingston, Livingston would be fifth. And I think if Jason stays healthy, he blows those three out of the water. I think what would have to happen is if we go to the state tournament and he averages his average, he'll be right at the other two guys. So, I don't know. It's not time to start looking at that yet, but – just so it's doable. It's hard. It's to very doable. doable. Yeah. Okay. Kenneth of Langston, 1964, and Derek Horde of Tennessee High, 1979, show the way with 2,935 career points each. Okay. How do I remember all that off the top of my head? Did That's pretty good. Pretty good. good how how uh, recent did you look that up? Yeah, it was Friday. So That's right. still pretty good, though. Yeah. Um, no, I thought if he can keep having individual success, but we also have to have team success for him to play enough games to do it. So I think – uh, if everybody gets what they want, which I think he would rather have the, the team success because, uh, I mean, he's about what hasn't he done individually. Um, if we can start playing better here, how I know we can play and get to where we want to get to, he's going to have a chance to, to do that too. So that would be good. This post that I found that on too, I'm looking at it, the post was made because of Jamar Livingston and mm-hmm. Lindy Ramsey. I think she did end up beating that all-time 5-on-5 five yeah. five record, yeah. The women's 5-on-5? Five yeah. five? You know, she in was North in the gym, Tennessee. Right? What was it? Probably 3,000? Something. Ramsey's 28 points on Friday made her the first on the girls' side to score 2,700 or more points since Tennessee High's Courtney McDaniel in 2000. Ramsey sits at 2,707, just 65 away from McDaniel's all-time five-on-five record of 2,772. That was on February 6th of last year. So that have been 2,772. Right, well, that have been right at the end of Nicole Hobson had like 2,771. Jennifer Taylor of Crockett 1979 scored 31-44. 31-44. That's oh, six Nicole on, six. on there? Yeah. Nicole Hobson of South Green, 1987, is fourth on the list of 2770. 2770, I was off the point. Uh, well, that's still a lot of points, man. I, you know, male, female, uh, anytime you, know you get over two. I don't, I've never had a 2,000 point Maybe score. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I think Coach would agree. I think a lot of times it's harder for the boys. Oh, it's a lot harder. Because uh, they don't play as early a lot of times. Yeah, girls normally, they come in, they're physically mature uh, or more physically mature than the, the bo- boys. I've noticed in my time here, they take a big jump between freshman and sophomore year most of the time. Some of them are late bloomers. It might be between junior and senior year. A lot of times a girl is what she is early, like freshman year. You that may be the best version of that yeah. girl physically. Now, they get stronger mm-hmm. if you get them in a weight room. But a lot of times, you know, just through natural human development, sometimes them girls will slow down a little bit rather than speed up. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it, but, you know, we had a, and this was before my time, I, I think maybe Jennifer graduated in 2000. 2000. Uh, Jennifer Weems over here scored 2,600. And 2,669 or 2,659. And she wasn't far off Nicole Hobson as far as all-time Green County females. And she's the leading scorer in the school's history on the women's side, really both, you know. Uh, and she played, of course, in the five-on-five yeah. era, which we thought would be a little more difficult to score a lot of points in. But, uh, tremendous. Anytime you get over 2,000, man, that's a 1,000 is celebrated mm-hmm. like a huge accomplishment, and it is. Oh, yeah. That's big time. But two thousand, pretty rare. I know on that list also it mentioned Jenna Hare was right outside the top ten. 
That was another one over the last few years that you've played that's been in the 2000s. Jenna Harrowbert, Sullivan East, Patriots. We ought to treat, see if we can stump the host on some of these schools around here and their mascots. Okay. Once you reach, think we can stump the host. Once you reach towards Knoxville is whenever I'll We'll start. keep it in East Tennessee. Okay. So, Tyler. Are you going to go by conferences? Or you just want to pick Let's a just random? random? Let's go league. random. Because oh, okay. random, if you, you go conference, I'm going to start to catch on. I'm going to be like, okay, this one's this and this. Okay. Tennessee High. Vikings. Morristown East. Ooh, got him. They are the East is Hurricanes. Okay. Northview Academy. Cougars. Sevier County. Sevier County. Smoky Bears. Okay. Uh... We better not do them schools. It's closed down. I was going to say Sullivan North. You don't remember them. Ooh. <laughs> they. Were they orange? They were black. They were Sullivan, black. Central, <laughs> Sullivan <laughs> Central was orange. They okay. Were Central they was were orange and South was light blue. South was Rebels. Okay. Yeah. North was the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Okay. East, we've already said the Patriots. All right. Uh, Elizabeth. Cyclones. Kachia. <laughs> Ooh! I know Kachia. Are they still a thing? They're, they're thing, still a thing. They're, they're in our Christmas Kingsport Area Christmas 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 Home Education awesome. Association. Yep. Got it. Kachia, yeah. Wildcats. Wildcats. That was a good one. Johnson County. Yeah, yeah Hookham. Providence. 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 He's going Christian Providence. school. Providence. Like. Providence. <laughs> he ain't even Providence. going public school. We should have said public schools. <laughs> they're the Knights. You yeah. are correct. Yeah. They are the Knights. All right. Just, Christian. Are they the Eagles? There you go. Yeah. There you go. He went full Christian conference <laughs> on you there. What about Cedar View? Nope. <laughs> oh, got him. I don't even mind got me. You don't know the Seahawks? That's it. They got Cedar View Seahawks. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's Lakeway? Lions. Lions, Lions that's what yeah. I thought. I think. Ain't they? Yeah, they're the Lions. I think Grace Christian Academy is also the Lions. That one I don't know. What's Lakeway, I Knox, have not well, I can't. Like Knox Central and Knox no West clue. and Knox Gibbs. What's Washburn? Washburn. Pirates. Remember the Pirates? Yeah. Okay. yeah. There we go. We got Hancock it. County. Indians. No, it's the Doolin Banjos. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The Doolin Banjos. All right, we couldn't get him. What about Clinch? I bet Sam don't know Clinch. Mm-hmm. I don't know Clinch. <laughs> Dave Crockett. <laughs> Where <are> that guy? <laughs> Pioneers. The Goonskin Caps. <laughs> what are they? The Indians? They're the Wildcats. Wildcats. Clinch? Okay. Well, you, if you guess Indian, Wildcat, or Devil, or something like you, you know, Peter uh, said, show. Uh, now, Horace Maynard is consolidated into Union County. Union County, that's right. So, uh, one of them used to be the Red Devils, and I think that was Horace Maynard, maybe. So, I, I don't know what Union County is. What's Granger? Union County? Granger's the Grizzlies. Okay. Good Union County. Bear. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to think yeah. on it. Jeff order. County. Are they the Patriots, too? Patriots, yeah. Morristown West. Trojans. About Greenville High School. Green Devils. West Green. Buffaloes. <laughs> you got to know, you're an alumni. I was about to say, you're going to go with the rest of the Green. You know, I had a, we had a career day over here the other day. College and career day. We had colleges set up in here. Different careers. I can't believe you wasn't here. I didn't know anything about it, man. We should have invited you. Be like a TV host. You would have been at the table that says TV host. But anyway, uh, ETSU had a person here. And he said, man, you guys have the best logo and the best gear of any school I go to. Now, that's the guy from ETSU. <laughs> <laughs> you do whatever you want to. <laughs> we do go to good gear. it was smooth. Except it was too big. It's only a problem. It's too big. Too big? Like, that's what you said. <laughs> sure, it's too big. Shirt's too big. Logo's not big. Yeah. I thought that's what you're talking about. We better go to a break, man. We got to go to Cherokee here after a while. What's, what's I feel like County? we've hurt these poor people today. How long have we been on here? We've not been here as long as you would think because we had this dog show out here. We started a little later. Did it say on here somewhere? <laughs> no. Down there on the yeah, up at the top. But I can't see it. I don't have my glasses today. I left them down in the field house. <clears throat> Cock County. Oh, this is easy. They, ch- they had to change. It's changed like since I started working here, I think. Back when I was in high school, they were the fighting cocks. <laughs> so it was when we would do this. It must be like illegal to fight roosters yeah. or something. So they thought, how does a school have a name of an illegal activity? 
So they switched. <laughs> now they are the Cock County. You'll never get it. Cox? Nope. What are they? Red. They're the red. Like just a red? I know Lady Red. Well, then red is Cock County Red. Cock County Red. Cock County Red. Syracuse Orange. Not the first time. Going to a break, though. We'll be right back. We've got to preview some games up next here on Grassroots Media. Bayleton Drug Company services the surrounding communities of Bayleton with excellent patient care using a full line pharmacy, over the counter selections, and a convenient drive through. When you visit us, you are treated as a neighbor, not a number. It's not just our slogan, but our culture. We're investing in our patients, local schools, and community. For over five years now, we have established ourselves as an independently family-run pharmacy that isn't driven by corporate goals. We are driven by what is best for your overall health and wellness. We are conveniently located so you don't have to make the drive. Prescription drugs are just the tip of the iceberg. We also offer natural remedies, essential oils, at-home medical needs, such as walkers, rollators, bath accessories, as well as wound care products. And coming soon, basic urgent care services. What makes us better than other drug stores out there? When you frequent Bailiff and Drug, you will receive professional courteous and friendly service that goes above and beyond any other pharmacy in the area. Remember, you're a neighbor, not a number. My name is Robert Starnes. I'm a lifelong resident of Northern Greene County, where I currently reside here with my wife and three children. I was a barber in Greenville for the last six years, but I have recently changed locations to my new shop in Bailton. It's at 285 Mortis Hollow Lane, Afton. I'm also a proud supporter of North Green Athletics. Come see me for all of your men and boys grooming needs. Go Huskies. Grassroots Media, welcome back to this week's edition Boom. of the Bayleton Drug Company TMB no, Show, presented by Starnes Barbershop. Mm -hmm. As always, I'm here with Lady Huskies head coach James Buchanan and Huskies head coach Sam Tarleton. Fellas, you got you say. two games coming up. You got a little bit more, so I want to start with you first, okay? Because yours will take up more time with the Christmas tournament coming up. I know yours won't happen until after Christmas with the Ladies Classic. You've got a little bit of a special one. You're playing at Happy Valley this year, I believe. Yeah, I got a Happy Valley tournament. Going to the TP. So is we, that what they call it? I think so. Bayless Gymnasium. So I got this yeah. whole whole week in here, or whole week. You do. All right, we got uh, Cherokee. We just played them last week. Uh, man, they got a good player, the McLean kid. I think he had left hand. Yeah, left hand. Good player. He's shifty. Uh, scored 15 or 16 in the first half. Is he Guess related to Bennett McLean? I don't know. I think it's spelled different. So no. Spell if you were going to spell McLean, Tyler, would you spell it with a little C followed by a big C, or would you go from the little C straight into a capital L? The other ways I've seen it spelled are with a little C, big C. That's what I see. A yeah. little C followed by a big are C. Are you asking like how I would yeah, spell it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's probably oh, so how I would going, spell it because that's so how So you don't like how Bennett spells his name? No, his is different. McLean that's why. McLean or McLean. McLean. I think when you say it so fast, it doesn't really Man, matter. But McLean, ain't he? Yeah. Hey, this boy, we're playing to McLean. 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 Instead of a Sounds McLean. Sounds like we're advertising a new sandwich from McDonald's. <laughs> the McLean. <laughs> no, the McLean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Anyway, he's good. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> like I said, third, that game, if you look at the score... Uh, it looks like we kind of blew them out or pushed it up, but it was a six-point game late in the third quarter. Um, I thought our defense early was bad. We gave up 19 and 19 first two quarters and then held them down there low the second half. We kind of went to a diamond or, or a little diamond with a chaser against that boy and done a good job. Uh, they play a very aggressive 1-3-1, uh, so we've got to take care of the ball. Uh, rivalry game Friday against a county opponent on the road. We get all those county games on the road. Um uh, we got them over with. After yeah, that. we're getting them. We're That's getting, hard to believe. We're getting them over with. Man, they got a big physical team. It uh, starts with Derry. Uh, got the the Treadway kid that can flat out play. Um, and then they that whole group of seniors. Uh, they've been playing together since they were little. Don't they have like ten? Yeah, yeah. ten or eleven seniors. Um, 
man, it's going to be a tough test for us on the road. Uh, we're going to see how much better at this defense and rebounding we're getting because if you don't defend and rebound against them, you're going to lose. Uh, so we're looking forward to that on Friday. Um, then next Monday we play up at Happy Valley. Uh, first time, I think it's the first time they've done this tournament. <laughs> they keep changing the bracket. And I'm not sure. It may, it may change again. Uh, I think if you win the games, you get flipped off the side of Happy Valley Zone. I think that's the rules. Just from what I've seen so far. In other start- words, Tyler, let me interpret. <laughs> the good teams are on one side of the bracket, and then the other teams are on the other side of the bracket. I think maybe Happy Valley is trying to pull one of those where we're going to get ourselves in our championship game. I'm just saying it's changed. I, mean, no, I don't know. It's, I don't know that that's what's going on, but the bracket's changed like four times. How now. does a bracket change? Once you send it out, the only way I can think, once you send it out, I mean, sometimes schools will call and say, <laughs> "Man, I can't play at that time." Uh, he's trying like to, one right he's trying to accommodate the teams, right? <laughs> Which is he's trying to accommodate Happy Valley into the championship. <laughs> I think is what he meant. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, we play Abingdon uh, the first round. Um, that's all I know. Uh, I know they're a good team. I've seen them on film a couple times. Uh, bigger school uh, up in Virginia, so. Well, I mean, looking forward to that. We want to play. Oh, no. It is time for afternoon. Oh, that's my wife. That's, yep. Is it? That's on safe. Thursday, the band's winner concert I'll leave this in will be held leave it in 10, there. starting I will. at 7.30. Race Listen how she does, 1 to 10. We'll play basketball teams tonight as they travel to Cherokee. Good. Beautiful voice. Tomorrow will be finals for third and fourth periods. And Thursday will be first and second period finals. You only have to come on those days if you are taking the finals. You can speaking. leave after yeah. you complete your finals family. if you have a note from your parent you it from and her? you drive yeah. or if someone yeah. is picking you up. Hope everyone has a good Thank rest you. of your day and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's all I got. Is that all you got? I mean, I, the only person I know, I'll tell you the teams. Go for it. Okay. Give us the field. Let's get the field. How many teams are in it? I think there's, let's see, one, two, so three. So you kept saying four, there's five teams on our five, side of the bracket. I'm thinking six, seven, there's ten eight, teams. Nine, ten. How do you do that? Ten team tournament. Ten team tournament. Okay. okay. All right, here's one side. We got John Battle. Virginia. Virginia. Cloudland. I know which side of the bracket this is. Twin Springs. You're about Virginia. to say Happy Valley. Cedar View. Okay. Happy Valley. <laughs> okay. There's okay. that side. And then we got Jenkins, Kentucky. They were in the uh, Big H Barbecue okay. Christmas Bash last Unicoi year. County. Okay. Abingdon. Virginia. North Green. Okay. Kachia. Interesting. Yep. A wide variety of teams wide from variety. different states. Yep. So it'll be good. We play 12 18 at 6 p.m. on the main floor. It's on the only floor. Main floor. Yeah. yeah. So that's the Bayless floor, Gymnasium. Bailey, Bayless Named Gymnasium. for. Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless. <laughs> you don't know Coach Bayless? Charlie? You don't know him? He just died recently. He passed yeah. away. Yes, last yes, year you're right, you're right. He died, was it two years ago? How many Did wins? he win a thousand? I think it was, I think it was, I think it was up there. He, coached, he had to coach as long as he, I mean, I think I, he coached 60 we years. We got to look at uh, how many like wins that. that is. It was top five in Tennessee history. Here you go. That would not surprise his me. His grandson, his, his son did some, actually it's his son-in-law. His son-in-law did some coaching. And, uh, of course, his grandson did some playing. I played with his grandson at Milligan. Okay. Gabe Gould. Gabe Gould. Good fan. Played at Science Seal, didn't he? Yes. He was a good player, I think. Mm-hmm. All right. Being young, I didn't know him, but whenever he passed away, I found out a lot of the history about him. 960 If you go up there and champion, cover one of those games. Yeah, uh, they won one. Yeah. I was there Thursday. Well, all you got to do is walk out in the lobby. They've got a whole shrine built to him out there. Do they? Yeah, it'll tell you all kinds of I'm pretty sure neat facts. that I'm sure my last year, year my last year playing, I'm pretty sure with his last year coaching. coaching. And we were playing at Sullivan North, which is now oh. the Tribe Athletic Center. We actually hit a half court shot. My buddy Ty Shipley hit a half court shot to beat Happy Valley. Yep. Or Charlie would have had how many wins? Sixty five. It's nine sixty four. All right. We'll That's impressive. We have to preview. Yes, sir. Well, we you've play. not got much though. You've yeah, got not Cherokee much. tonight, Cherokee. and then Chucky Dope the night this is released. Yeah, we're we're trying. 50, I mean, I try not to look ahead. Fifty nine uh, years, coach. Fifty nine years. 
Golly. Um, well, there's a tribute on the TMB show. Coach Bailey was the best. Uh, that I've not really thought much about Chucky Dope. Trying to get this Cherokee game behind us tonight, and then we'll try to lock in on Wednesday and Thursday. But I, I just remember a lot of their kids from last year. They got a tough, scrappy group. Coach Donnie, does a, yeah, back. does a great job with them. I think they lost a couple girls to graduation, but they. Uh, I know this. They play a lot of kids, and we don't have a lot of kids to play. So that could be a factor in the game. I don't know. Um, but he does a good job, so we'll get locked in on that. And, of course, I don't know if we'll have another show before the Ladies Classic because things get so hectic during the holidays. Yeah, I was looking at it. I think the only way we would do one next week is, May. what day do you – yeah, it's cool. We're next, out Friday. This Friday? Friday? Day is Friday. This Friday? Yes, yeah, so we're out next week. We might only be able to come here, like, next Thursday because I know you'll be a happy got, Valley Monday, a Tuesday, tr- Wednesday. Trivia question for you, Coach. All right. And boys – <clears throat> Most coaching wins all time. For boys? For boys. I'm going to say it has to be Buck Van Hus. Buck Van Hus. Hampton and Dobbins Bennett. 1,023. Wow. Charlie, Charlie, another tribute. Charlie please. Bayless is fourth. Is he? Who's second? Jerry Peters. Never heard of him. All right, there's only one. Who's Jerry Peters? Where's he from? Jerry Peters from Memphis University. Oh, well. Hmm. Who's third? Robert High from Bernard. Yeah. Brainerd. So Charlie's fourth. Charlie's Coach fourth. Van number one. Dickie Warren's fifth. Sullivan Central. Drivers and car riders can be dismissed. There's a current coach that is... George Pitts. Nope. Tenth. Do you know Pitts is back in it? I've seen that. Coaching the I think he's won over a thousand, but at different, a different levels. Yeah. Uh, Jody Wright. Fulton. Mm-hmm. I keep reading he's not going to lose a whole game the whole year. Yeah. Eight, oh, three. Beat, um... <laughs> yeah, I heard that. You what? That, but... <laughs> Cut that out. Is that old boy? Is he <laughs> really want me to? <laughs> yeah, please. Nah. Dude, is that old just boy? Nobody know what I'm talking old about. Old buddy from Clark Range is way up. He's ahead of all that, ain't he? Lamar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lamar Rogers at Clark Range has won like thousands. Of... But I'm not sure he's close to. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting it all mixed up. Lamar's won over a thousand. Lamar Rogers from Clark Range, I think. But as far as state championships, he's won like eight, seven or eight. But you know who the man is on that? What's that? Rick Enzel. He's won the most I mean, state championship, went. like twelve, at Shelbyville, and he's the head coach now at MTSU, who okay. just knocked off our Lady Balls last week. Saw that. Rick Enzel. We know all kinds of stuff that never would help. Lamar Rogers, 1289. 1289. Hey, but Rick Enzel won 775. And he's been coaching in college now for probably Listen, 20 years. Listen to this. In the span, and he won 110 in a row. 110 in a row? <laughs> Was that a state record? <laughs> Includes a span of 110 consecutive. You know what's crazy? From 88 to 91. And, and most people would say, that's high school basketball. Gino did that. <laughs> in major college division one NCAA basketball. That's crazy. They, how many did they win? It was 100 something, wasn't it? I can't remember the exact Because they broke UCLA's, was like 88 or something, wasn't it? And they broke it. Yeah. UCLA's men. I'm going to make a prediction. By the time coach is done, oh my he's going to be in top 10. What's the number of 10? If he gets 700, he'll be in top 10. That's a long ways off. Well, I know you're over half going to come back before that, boys. Coach, you're going to get there. You're over 60. Were you 500 there. close? Getting no, there? nowhere close to five. 450? Getting closer to 450. You when you get seven. that ball, 21? I mean, look at him. He, he looks – he ain't even – he's not even in his prime. I'm a spring chick. <laughs> he was 25. How many hey, here's what I want. To, I want the viewers – like anybody's watching at this point. This We didn't even hour. pick the shit. <laughs> we ain't picked the New Year's Six games yet. And and here's what I want in the comment section. Do they still do that? Yeah, they do. Get in frame a little bit over here. All right. And I want I want people to guess my age. <laughs> Take a good look. I know it's hard. It's difficult. I want you to guess my age. All right. New Year's Six bowls. We better do something. Bus can pull out. I've already wrote mine out. 
So there would be no, none of this would be influenced by your all's decisions. I've already made mine. So Georgia, Florida State. We'll start with the host. Well, we have E Dog in here also. Let's I've, mention I've got that. His. We called him earlier. So we did. We got E Dog. We'll mention his picks at the same time. So yeah. After I'm assuming the way you want to do it is you and E Dog have your picks down. So we're going me and Sam, and then yeah. you release your twos. Yes. Okay. What bowl first? Florida State. I don't know which bowl it is. Orange. The cry bowl. Florida State. Cry this bowl. is the, the Kleenex, Kleenex bowl. bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Georgia. You're going with Georgia. Yeah. Sam? I'm like E. I don't have no choice. But He's got George. no choice. That's no a choice. sweep. All four of us pick the Bulldogs. All right. Oregon and Liberty in the, what's that, Fiesta? I think. Cotton? I also think that this is going to be another sweep with Oregon. You're picking Oregon? I am. I have to do that, too. Sam is picking Oregon. All right. We're not We've getting no anything choice. here. All right. Missouri, Ohio State in the, what is this one? Cotton Bowl. Cotton Bowl. I'm going to go. You go? I'm going Missouri. I'm going to go Ohio State. I think that old buddy's coach for his job. All right. I also picked Missouri. e Dog picked Ohio State. Somebody told me the other day that, was it you, Tyler, told me like 22 players. 22 players are, are gone. more than likely transferred or entered for, uh, the NFL draft. Oh, so I didn't know that. That's a lot. Now you got to do research, Sam. <laughs> the quarterback's you know gone. Uh, I don't know if Marvin Harrison Jr. is playing. How in the world Somebody would he be coaching he going... for his job when he never loses but one game a year? Somebody said he was going to push. They're going to offer him about $20 million to come back next year. Marvin? I was going to ask you that, too. I had that on my mind. We'll, we'll save it for after this. But I want to see what your opinion is that the Bears get the number one pick. Who do you pick? Drake May. No, I'm just kidding. They've already tried the North Carolina quarterback. They were Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> I do. And and I'm not saying that Drake May is better or worse, but we may need to try something else. I'm done with Fields. Are you? Yeah. You don't like Fields? Mm-mm. Hmm. Now, and I'll tell you the thing about him. Can he run? Yeah. Can he complete a pass every once in a while? Yeah. Show me consistently that they can win games with him at quarterback. He's had three years. I agree. I'm ready to move on. Who so who, who do you pick? I don't know if it's Caleb Williams. I don't. Do, I don't have an eyeball on these he's guys. Do like the Williams. He's 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 is he the real deal. I think so. I think or right. if they if they decide to keep Fields, do they take a lineman? For protection, or do they, they get Harrison two Jr. early picks? They're not out of the playoff hunt yet. They should be, but believe it or not, mathematically they're not. They're gonna get get Williams and Harrison. Let's go. Get them both. If okay. they're still on the board, by the trade up. All right. Ole Miss, Penn State. Hmm. This is my the toughest pick. Who are you riding with? I'm gonna go Penn State. Ole Miss is one of those I haven't had the chance to watch a lot this year, so I don't know if their offense is good enough to beat Penn State's defense. But I don't think Penn State's defense is good enough, or Penn State's offense is good enough. To Which waiting is. on a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State. That's where I beat all you boys. Because everybody had Penn State. You got to know you don't go against Lane Kiffin. All right, that's where I separate right there from you boys. Ha. All right, now <laughs> – Alabama, Michigan. I think we already Pretty said those. this last week. I think me and E Dog both went with Alabama. I think both you clowns went with Michigan, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now, because <laughs> you a clown, you said yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Texas and Washington. I went with Texas. E Dog went with Washington. What was it, Sam? You went with Texas. Texas. And then, of course. Tyler went with Texas. He's a Texas fan. So, uh, E-Dog may get us right there, boys. Is he the only one that took Washington? He's the only one that took Washington. And then our national champion. This is a good thing. We have four different We have four different. So, So somebody somebody is guaranteed to win. Somebody's going to pick up some major points. So, unless you just blow it back to you. Is that a point of peace? How did we do the score last year? You'll have to go back and watch that show from I still have the paper. So, I'll just go back and look at it. Yeah. I'll have to dig it up somewhere. Score it the same way. However we scored it last year, score it the same way. You went with Texas. You went with Michigan. I'm rolling with Alabama. A dog picked the Huskies. There ah. Don't lose that. All right. So I give, it'll be about a month until we figure this out because the national championship is on January 8th. So we've got a few shows between here and then. Hey, we how did we not talk about the Lakers winning the end season tournament? Oh, what about that? <laughs> You're going to hang a banner for that? We did. I right. think they said that they are. Oh, you'll be shaking your head 10 years from now when it's a big thing. 
Yeah, they're trying to make it a big thing. I think they kind of forced them to hang it because originally they said, we just hang world championships. LeBron, LeBron's going to – it's going to be important. If you had let's, – let's, let's talk about this real quick too. This is a basketball show. We can talk about the NBA too if you want to a little bit more. Talk about whatever. I don't want to talk about college basketball. Real oh, it's quick. wide open this year. Exactly. Wide open. You can't really just pick one team that you think. Pick, I mean, you pick, can't a, pick, pick a winner right now. Let's pick one Let's winner. Let's pick right two now. that you think. It will not, as hard as it hurts me to say this, it will not be Duke. It's not going to be Duke this year. Well, then again, we said that last year because they weren't that tough at this time. And then they went nine in a row and win the ACC big tournament. Difference. There's a huge difference. Lively. Lively was a big deal. Last year they had a rim protector. He wasn't healthy at this time either. No, but they had him late, and he played well enough to guard the rim and do what they needed. They don't have that this year. Mm-hmm. I keep looking for this Sean Stewart because they say he's he he's broke shown up either. He broke Zion Williamson's record for the highest vertical leap in Duke history. So you know he's got to be a freak animal athlete. Can't get on the court. Caleb Foster had a huge game. In the Champions Classic against Michigan State, and I don't think he's really cracked double digits since then. They're two, done. Two teams. Two teams. Who two are you up. rocking with? Tennessee's one of them. Yeah. I don't All care right. how many they've yeah. lost early yeah. in the year. They're right Defense there in every Tennessee. one of them. Tennessee. Okay. They can do it. They're going to Final Four this year. This is the year. Hey, UConn's going back at UConn. UConn. UConn's one of mine. UConn. UConn's tough, and I don't think you can well, ever Arizona, them. they're playing well right now. They, they're peaking, fakers. Peaking I agree. Just wait. They're I don't, fakers. I don't know if they're legit. Purdue's getting ready to show you. I like Purdue. I don't think you can it's ever count open, out uh, Bill Self. Yeah, Kansas. I don't like Kansas, but I don't think they got enough scoring this time. That could be the case too. Purdue, they're one of those like Gonzaga. They always choke when it comes to the big games. That's what they said about Virginia till they won the whole thing. That's true, but you can say that about a lot of teams too. Yep, this may be their breakthrough year. It could. It could. could. Tennessee. You know what happened the only other time? You know who I looked at? Sixteen beat one. One night and thought, dang it. They're pretty good. North Carolina. <laughs> I haven't sat down and watched a full game. Yeah, they got They're pretty good. Fire They'll be Duke this year. Yeah. As much as I hate to say it. Yep, afraid so. Yeah. I can't even jump on that bandwagon because I'm a Tennessee fan now, so I can't even make fun of Coach. I guess I can pick him in that game. Well, Duke Carolina? Yeah. That's all right. Tennessee already beat Duke last year. I'd be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a rough time to be a Duke fan, but it ain't it ain't bright. Well, have you ever heard of a, of a young man by the name of Cooper Flag? <laughs> because there's no need to mourn for Duke fans. We just got to wait a little while. Is he going to Duke? Did he announce yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. He announced it. There's, I think Duke has five in the top 20 in next year's class. Yeah, they said they did this year, too, where they had. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How do you look that unathletic? When you've got that many five stars. <laughs> oh, no. You look slow and unathletic. I'm sorry, Coach Shire, like you'll ever watch this. But, um, and I'll tell you, here, here's a idiot watching TV that don't know much. I think they play too slow and too cautious. You see these other teams like they lost the Arkansas game. Those guys ain't never seen a shot they don't like. Hey, Arkansas is about like them old Bruce Pearl teams. He just, they just go. But some of the shots they're hitting, it's because guys are getting downhill, drawing in defenders, kicking, kicking it out up. for open threes, and Duke is so freaking slow. They're just standing there, and then they'll go run and set a wing ball screen late in the shot clock. What's your opinions on Ryan Young? Get him off the court. <laughs> no. Him and Mark Mitch, I know they both do great things. They do stuff coaches Mitchell got benched or didn't get benched. Well, he lost I guess the game That is right. Him. He did get benched because he didn't start. He lost the game for them. Yeah. He slams one hard in that Georgia Tech game and then wants to point at a guy, yell at him, technical foul. So two free throws and the ball. They end up. I mean, they had a four-point lead. And and then they go make two free throws and then score, and it's tied. I mean, you got a four-point lead and you need a stop. How much do you lose by? I don't know. They, Four I mean, points. Yeah. So, and, and he just can't make a shot, and I know he plays hard and he's long and he defends and rebounds. But uh, he's not a playmaker, and he can't make outside shots. So how are you playing? How are you planning on winning with that? And Ryan Young gets called for more travels in the low post than he scores. He misses more point-blank layups 
And I know he's having shot fake 40 times, then get it up quick because he's undersized and uh, they, they are way more athletic than him down there. But at some point, when do you just – I mean, they, they made this comment on the air. They quoted Shire saying, Stewart is our best rebounder. Then why ain't he in the game? Simplify it if you can't remember nothing and get the man to where, I mean, it's got to be better than what you're getting right now. But, I mean, it's a long season. It is, and it's early. We it's may just... be in January thinking, dude, rounding it out, boys, they're coming around. I mean, it, it ain't too late, but so far they don't look very good. No, the good thing is it's just December. You've got a lot of time for Proctor to heal, too, because that's a big one. Yeah, it's a big loss. Yeah. Proctor's hurt at the moment. You don't start conference playing until. You watch that Tennessee until... Illinois game? I did not. What did. day was that? It was good. It was good. Saturday. It was early Saturday. Hey, Saturday we had a Duke game. Of course, they were playing against uh, Yeah, Charlotte. And Tennessee played at 12. Mm-hmm. Then Duke played at 215. Then we did some family things and made it back in time to see the King get crowned. I thought they were going to play. Uh, I thought Kevin Hart was going to call that game. I was getting mad. Coach called me, tore all pieces. <laughs> He said, are you watching this game? I said, not yet, but it's recording. I'm going to go home and crank it up. And he started in on the commentators, and I thought, they wouldn't be doing that. They were trying to do some kind of Manning cast yeah, with, with Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart and three other judges. He thought that was the only channel it was on. <laughs> oh, so I was the so game, mad. The game's on ABC. <laughs> I was so mad. That one guy, he said, Lakers' defense is going to be good because they're tall. <laughs> so, who was he with? Do you know any of them? No. Patrick Beverly came on there. For, I saw that. Uh, one guy was named uh, Stax or something like it. Like who? Well, okay. at least you got that off there. Got back the old <laughs> say Mike Bray or not Mike Bray. Well, they had Doris Burke. Burke. <laughs> Doris Burke on there. Notre Dame. And, Mike, uh, uh, what's his name? Mike Breen. Breen. Yeah. And Mike Breen. Had, Doc. Mark Doc, Jackson. Doc uh, Rivers. No, yeah, Doc, Mark's not Doc, on there anymore. Doc. Yeah, it's Doc. And they Doc let, and Doris. Yeah, they let Mark go. Yeah. Those guys do a good job. He's the reason why they're there. Yeah. Did you like Mark Jackson? Yeah. He's all right. Mama, there goes that man. With all due respect. <laughs> he got, hand down he man. He got in trouble a lot for saying. I mean, yeah, there were a lot of things he said. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said about LeBron's mom, wife that time? Or was it his mom or his wife? LeBron's wife. wife he said, it was one of the two. But yeah, I knocked that out of the park with all due respect. <laughs> no reason oh, it should ever been said yeah. on there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get fired. Yeah, that might have been a reason. <laughs> don't what, let go. That's what he said. <laughs> what time's the bus leaving? Bye. Right now. 3.30. We got 20 minutes. All Bye. Right. Mary, that's all we've got. Are we going to do another one before Christmas? We'll do it as long as you let me come back in here. Yeah, because we got to do our Christmas special where we... Uh, Dress up. I don't know about all that. <laughs> but, we'll uh, bring Santa hats. Reveal one year, didn't we, we did guess last Christmas year. carols or something? We did do gifts. You got me some kind of. I remember Coach brought a good gift and everybody else got good gifts. What did I get you? Who did I get? I got you. You got me some... good at the golf well, thing. You got, yeah, the golf thing. What was it? That, uh, pick it up, yeah, that pickup up thing. And you got me some kind of stupid hair or something. Like <laughs> we'll actually get meaningful gifts this year. What did you get me? You I forget. That, uh, it was hair something stuff. about hair. I think it was. Just for men, hair regrowth or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went straight to the trash. It did. What about what'd you get him? I don't remember. Well, if, if we're going to do it next week, we need to draw names. Next week, <laughs> yeah, I guess it would have to be next week, wouldn't it? Yeah, next it's week, almost well, Christmas yeah. time. Well, let's just rotate a little bit. Since I got Sam a gift, and then he got you a gift, and you got me a gift, let's go reverse order. So you get me, I this get year, him. I get you. Yeah. We, All right, I got Sam. All right. Sam's got James. I got you. James has got I. What we got? All right. I better not. Thank you. Best what you got? Susie, Come on in, Suze. <laughs> hey, you've done me. been on the show once today. Wow. Announcements. <laughs> <laughs> he made it off announcements. Is it still doing? Yeah, it's still doing. Well, it's not on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, too. <laughs> yes, I would like it. You want a donut? I I'll take one. Suze. Yeah, he's taking one. Hello? Bye. Are we still rolling? We're still rolling. <laughs> Bye. Bring it in. He'll end it. He'll edit it. All he has, all you have to do is say, <laughs> I don't think cut that out. To. Okay. Is that it? Yep. That's I'm it. Done. Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Bayleton Drug Company TMB Show presented by Starnes Barbershop. Look forward to seeing you next time here on Grassroots Media.